Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of the year where I am going to wrap up my current capsule wardrobe which is my spring capsule and I'm gonna look forward to the summer season. So I always do these seasonal videos where I share my visual inspiration, my wish list and kind of have a look back at the previous season. And then I make a part two where I show you the final outcome of these capsule wardrobes. So this is going to be part one today. So today's video is actually made in collaboration with the super cool trading app called Bunce. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with the app. You all know that I am a huge fan of bringing down my overall consumption and decluttering my life in general so I only have like the bare essentials in my life. This type of decluttering is, I guess, one of the biggest and most important steps towards a more sustainable life. So I feel like I'm one of those people who are partly a minimalist. I love this very, when we're talking fashion, I love this very Scandinavian, very timeless and basic style. But at the same time, I have this little part of me who enjoys getting some new things into my wardrobe every once in a while to be a bit more playful and to keep everything fresh. I've said this a hundred a hundred thousand times. I know for a fact that many people love to shop and there are many people who feel this way too, maybe even in a bigger scale. Um, so I just really want to lead the way and show you guys that there are ways where you can in fact shop while being a very sustainable consumer at the same time. And that's kind of the thing that I wanted to make a bigger part of my video today. And that's why I've teamed up with Buns because I want to show you guys how you can shop more sustainably. So with Bunch, you are giving a completely free platform where you can make a profile and you can add things to your profile that you want to trade with. So that could be everything from fashion and clothing to books and furniture and plants or whatever you have lying in your home that you don't really get any use out of. So this app is great for any items that don't really have any monetary value to you. So not you know, suitable for a direct sale, but something that could be very suitable for a trade. So I was thinking about going through both my wardrobe, the wardrobe that I have right now, but also through my storage, because it's actually quite a long time since I've decluttered my storage. And I know that there's some items in there that I haven't worn for years and that it's maybe time for me to part with. So my idea was kind of to take you guys along with me in that process. And then the items that I choose to let go of, I'm going to try putting them up in my buns profile. And then the dream would be if I could trade these into um, fashion items that I have on my capsule wardrobe wish list, that would be the biggest goal. But otherwise I might stumble upon something else that I feel like I'm missing. One of the other reasons why I wanted to try out this app is because Buns is not really known in Denmark actually, but that doesn't have to hold you back from creating a profile. So if you create a profile, and you can see, okay, there are not any other people in my area or my country who's using the app. You can kind of be the pioneer who starts up everything and you can invite your friends via Facebook or via email to start using the app. So um, I'm hoping that someone will be willing to trade some of these fashion items with me. If some of you who are watching live in the southern part of Denmark or just Denmark in general, or if any of you are traveling to this area of Denmark, then definitely let me know if there are any of these items that I end up putting up in my profile that you're interested with. So maybe we can do kind of a little sh swapping party. So I feel like when you invite your friends to use this app, it's a great way of kind of convincing your friends and family to be more sustainable consumers without pointing your finger at them and telling them what to do. So first of all, let's have a quick look back at the spring season. As many of you guys know, we recently moved. So there's a lot of things that's been going on in my life um, that's kind of been taking my mind of fashion a bit and taking my mind of styling in general. So there are definitely a few items in my wardrobe that I haven't been using very much because one, we've moved, so I've been wearing a lot of practical clothes. And two, I recently started working from home on full time. So many of the days what I reach for is actually just a jumper and a pair of jeans. But I'd really like to challenge myself to style up my outfits more, even though I'm just working from home. Um, I'm looking into the possibility of renting a local office in the city. So that definitely give me, gives me an opportunity to dress up more. Overall, I've been super happy with my spring capsule. I'll leave the spring capsule video series for you down below if you want to have a closer look at the different items that I added 
to my wardrobe. As usual, most of the items that I added to my spring capsule, um, I found them secondhand and it's kind of my rule of thumb. And yeah, it's a great way again to be a sustainable consumer and allow myself to be a bit more playful while having a huge part of my wardrobe that always stays the same. I have my capsule wardrobe planner here, which every season I write down my um, wish list for the coming season. I also write the end of season thoughts for the season that we just went through. And I'm gonna do the same with this spring season. So I have my wish list for the coming summer season right here. And then here I've written end of season thoughts, which I'm gonna um, fill in when we went through summer. So I'm gonna look back at my thoughts from last year because the whole idea with this capsule wardrobe planner is that I can take my experience and my thoughts from previous seasons and use it for future seasons. I kind of feel like my style is developing a little bit at the moment. So um, I recently updated my all year basic wardrobe overview because I, I added some items to it that I felt like I've been missing and then I stored some other ones away. Um, and I still feel like I'm developing my style a bit at the moment. I feel like it's definitely becoming slightly more edgy than it's been in the past and a little less classic maybe. Um, I definitely still love this very timeless and minimalistic kind of style, so don't get me wrong here. But for example, um, I'm a huge fan of a graphic t-shirt that, like the one that I'm wearing today. And I've been adding these to kind of my seasonal part of my wardrobe the past couple of years. But really, I feel like this could become a very basic part of my wardrobe. So I'm kind of considering adding this kind of t-shirt to my all year basic overview again, because I feel like I have that very classic style, that very minimal style, but I definitely like the very edgy kind as well. Like Anina Bing is my biggest style inspiration and I guess that's kind of where I'm heading. So before having a look through my storage, I'm just gonna tune in on my inspiration for the coming summer season. I'm also gonna have a look at my end of season thoughts from last summer, so summer, summer 2018. And some of my thoughts were that we had a heat wave last year. I don't think any people in Europe really missed that. Um, so I kind of felt this lack of creativity. And I know that it's definitely not for sure that we're gonna have as hot a summer this year like we did last year, but I might as well prepare myself. So I felt this lack of creativity because I felt like I couldn't like combine my clothing into enough different combinations. So I ended up reaching for the same top and the same skirt or a pair of shorts over and over again. So one of the things that I wrote in my planner is that next year, make sure to have more um, skirts and shorts. So more two piece options because then you can make more combinations. So I'm definitely gonna keep that in mind for this year's summer capsule. So some of the wishes that I've written into my planner here based upon my thoughts from last year and also when I look through my inspiration board, all of the things that are inspiring me at the moment. Um, I actually have quite a large wish list this year and by no means do I think that I need all of these items, but because I'm gonna try out this thing where I swap other items with maybe other people, or again, I go for secondhand options, I thought, you know what, I might as well see how many of these items I can get a hold of by swapping. So we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm really able to swap any of these, these things. If not, I might put um, some of the things from my storage that I no longer need up on my own secondhand web shop. Um, and then again, I'm gonna do my best to buy these things secondhand as well. So yeah, anyway, some of the things that I've written on this list is um, a white denim skirt or a white pair of denim shorts. Again, going for this whole two piece kind of thing. Then I'd like to add some new slide sandals to my wardrobe because the ones that I have, you guys might remember, I've had them for a couple of years. Um, and they are horrible, horrible quality, but I've held on to them because I liked the style of them. So the color is coming off on my, on my toes every time I wear them. Sometimes my feet will turn completely black and it's just not very nice. Um, but I've been very stubborn and I've held on to them despite that, but I feel like it might be the time for me to get rid of them. And I actually have a pair of slides in my secondhand web shop right now that I've kind of fallen in love with myself. So might do a little bit of a switcheroo there. Then I'm also really keen on a utility shirt dress. I think I mentioned it in like my summer, spring, summer trend video. I saw this picture of Anina Bing again wearing 
um, a black utility style dress with a pair of boots and it just look, looked amazing. So I'm, I'm looking for one in like a khaki colored version. And then a pair of wedge espadrilles, which I've had on my wish list for years as well. It's a really great summer stable and they're so comfortable. I recently sold a pair again on my own secondhand web shop and they were so comfortable. So definitely want to look into that as well. And then I've written a leopard skirt. So if you scroll through my spring summer inspiration board on Pinterest, you'll see that I have all of these images of both leopard shirts and leopard skirts. And if you've watched one of my recent vlogs, the one where I traveled to London, I actually managed to pick up a very cute vintage dress in this leopard print that I have been thinking about turning into a shirt and then a skirt. So I'm gonna cut it and then add an elastic part to um, the bottom part of, of that shirt dress so that I can use it again as a two-piece option. I'm hoping that I'll be able to swap my way into some of these items. Otherwise, I can't really remember what I have in storage. I might have a lot of similar things in my storage already. So that is my wish list for this season. Right, so I have all my storage boxes here now. Um, I have my shoes in these ones and then I have all of my clothing in these ones. I have a pile over here as well with some other things. So I'm gonna go through everything now and I might pick out a few random things to share with you along the way to kind of share my thought patterns when I choose items and I don't. So I'm gonna pick out some items that kind of fit within the mood that I'm going for this um, summer season. And then if I stumble upon something that I'm definitely gonna get rid of and put up into my buns profile, I will share that with you as I go along as well. So let's just get started. Right, so the situation is as follows. This is all of the things that I took out from storage and I'm um, going through my wish list one more time. I'm sure that there are definitely some things that I can take completely off this list. Here we have those like graphic tees that I mentioned before that I might add to my basic wardrobe. I picked these up in London recently in a vintage shop. And then over here we have a, a huge pile of clothing that I haven't been using for a very long time. Um, and some of these I have tried to kind of get them back in rotation, but just failed to do so. So here we have those um, sliders that I mentioned before, which are just in such bad quality. Like they transfer so much color onto my feet every time I wear them. And still I've been wearing them for the past like three years now. So might have to get rid of these. Then I found these sandals right here. I've worn them very, very little. Bought them in and other stories, I think also three years ago. Sort of like a great classic um, sandal, which they are. They're in great quality, real leather and this really like sturdy leather. But I just tend not to reach for them. I haven't worn them since I bought them like three years ago. So I might put these up in my buns profile as well. This dotted denim shirt, I don't know if you guys remember it, but I tried to put it in one of my like um, spring capsule wardrobes a couple of seasons back, didn't wear it at all. So that one definitely needs to go. Bought this one five or six years ago now. So that's one of the reasons why I definitely need to let it go. It's really cute, but it's just not really my style anymore. Blue shirt, which is just from H&M. I already have another great blue shirt over here in my yes pile. So this one is a linen shirt from Power of My People, which is just in better quality and just a lot more me. I love this very speckled kind of fabric. So don't really need to versions of the same shirt. A lot of stripes here, a lot of like just plain basic white t-shirts from when I did like a white t-shirt test kind of video and I have a lot of basic white t-shirts in my wardrobe already so these could definitely need a new home. Then this one is actually kind of cute like it's this um, kind of a festival cardigan kind of. Um, Bought it from H&M also several years ago. It must have been also six years ago. So it's kind of this kimono style cardigan, very festival chic, very boho chic, 
with these fluted sleeves. I'm not sure if you can even really see it, but I haven't reached for this again since I bought it back then and I think it deserves a new home. It's really cute, but it's just not my style. So yes, we have a few things here that I'm now going to put up into my buns profile and with some luck, maybe some of you would want to swap these things into things that I have on my wish list or maybe just some completely other things. Like I'm also interested in things as books or puzzle games or perfumes from clean, anything. So yeah, I'm gonna try and see what happens. So this is the process so far of all of the items that I brought out from storage for my summer capsule. Um, except a few things here that are gifted from one, a brand, or two, something that I've recently bought in a secondhand shop, which is actually the case with both of these right here. So this is a, um, a linen top from Everlane, super cute, and I've been dying to wear this. And then the leopard dress up here is the one that I'm gonna turn into a shirt and a dress. Um, so yeah, otherwise we have a lot of great stuff here, probably also too much. So I'm gonna have to put it into Clatwell, see what kind of outfits the app comes up with as per usual to kind of decide whether I should keep all of these items or I should put some of them back into storage. But I actually really like how it looks when it's laid out like this. We have some shorts down here and these are the white pants that I was gonna turn into a pair of shorts. We have a denim skirt, um, some dresses over here, three different dresses. So the striped one, the blue one over here and then just a basic black sleeveless shift dress as well. So I'm kind of thinking that this dark blue one could maybe substitute for that um, printed boho style dress that I have on my wish list because I actually really love this dress. And then this really old silk shirt from my very first job as a designer. So that one is very, very old. Like I say very, very, but it's definitely like seven years old or something like that. But I just think it's so cute with this rudder print and very suitable for summer. So yes, that is the current situation. So usually what I do now is I put all of the items that I've pulled out from storage into my Cladwell app um, and also any potential new purchases I will put them into the app and I always go back so I will go back and pick out the summer capsule that I created last year and then I'll put things from the app into storage and then add the new things just because it's nice to have like um, the groundwork done so I always go back and just use the older ones that I've already created inside of the Cladwell app. So yeah, I think I definitely have enough items here and I probably also have too many, like I just said before. Um, whenever I'm around like 37 or 40 items in my wardrobe, that's like the magic number for me. Not that you should necessarily put a number to your wardrobe like that because it's very individual, but that's kind of the number that I usually end up wearing the things that I have in my wardrobe. So if I have too many more than 40, for example, I'll probably end up not wearing some of the items that I put into my wardrobe. But that's why I love bringing things out from storage. And I also love um, purchasing things secondhand because then I have more of a clean conscience if I don't end up reaching nearly as much for these items as I wanted to. But I still have the option to be a bit more playful and to keep my basic wardrobe fresh. So that's really the way that I work around things. You guys probably already know this if you've been following me for the, the past couple of years. Um, I like this 
bit of a more fluid and playful approach to things. So um, I'm not super fixed on my capsule wardrobe. So if I, you know, find out in the middle of this season that there are some of these items that I don't use at all, or if there are items from my storage that I'd rather add to my capsule than the ones that I've picked out, I'll just go ahead and do so. You don't have to be so fixed on things. But definitely in the beginning, if you're first starting out with your capsule wardrobes, it's probably best that you kind of stick with the rules in the beginning, just so you feel strong enough to go about and bend the rules and make them fit your life and your preferences a little bit better. So I've put all of those other items that I showed you before up in my buns profile and I'm gonna share it down below. So if you see anything that you would be interested in swapping with me for something else, not necessarily a piece of clothing, it can be anything else um, that I might be interested in, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you're in the southern part of Denmark and you're watching this video, definitely make sure you sign up to Buns because I'm a huge fan of this app and there are definitely some things in there, like when I looked up London, there are definitely some books and some things I would be interested in swapping with, but there are just not any people in my area using the app yet. So I'm definitely hoping that um, by spreading this message to you guys, that more of you will sign up to this awesome app. So yes, I am gonna get on with it. I am gonna play around with my current summer capsule wardrobe and then I'll get back to you within the next few weeks with part two, which is gonna be my final overview and also a lookbook and kind of a haul of the single items that I put into my summer capsule. So I'm gonna try everything on and you're gonna see everything a little bit better. So this is just the whole preparation scene. So that is it for this video, guys. I really hope that it was inspiring and that it gave you some first few thoughts for your own summer capsule wardrobe. Also a huge thank you to Buns for sponsoring this video. I love spreading the message about services and apps that can make life a little bit easier for people. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys.